chapter 2712 opens with Shiloh's palpable jealousy towards Catherine. Despite the generational gap, Catherine's attitude towards liberty is sisterly and warm, contrasting sharply with Shiloh's bitterness. Liberty responds to Catherine with politeness and respect, reinforcing the bond between them and highlighting Shiloh's feelings of exclusion. Shiloh laments the loss of her former status and influence within the family, a position now held by Catherine. She reminisces about the days when she was the second most powerful person in the Farrell family and was constantly surrounded by friends and admirers. Her change in status has led to her isolation. Former friends and admirers have drifted away, revealing that their relationships were based on her status rather than genuine affection. This realization deepens her bitterness, especially as she observes Catherine's growing influence and the admiration she receives. Her former friends, now distant, highlight the superficial nature of her past relationships and the harsh reality of her current situation. Marco, Sage, and their third brother reflect on their precarious positions within the family. Marco acknowledges Catherine's strategic friendliness towards liberty and the potential threat it poses. He cautions his siblings to maintain a low profile and avoid further mistakes that could lead to their expulsion from the family mansion. His warning underscores the fragile nature of their status and the strict control Matriarch Farrell exerts over them. Despite Matriarch Farrell's strict orders, he continues his affair discreetly. He has arranged for a friend to support his mistress financially, allowing him to maintain the relationship without direct involvement. His actions reflect his unwillingness to fully comply with his mother's demands and his desire to keep his extramarital affair alive. This deception is emblematic of the broader themes of secrecy and infidelity that permeate the chapter. Sage's approach to extramarital relationships is even more cavalier. He maintains multiple mistresses, viewing them as dispensable objects of pleasure. When he tires of one, he introduces her to other men, ensuring her continued material comfort while moving on to new conquests. His actions are driven by a desire for novelty and a blatant disregard for the sanctity of marriage, reflecting a deep-seated culture of infidelity among the Farrell brothers. Shiloh advises him to be cautious about discussing his affairs openly. She warns him that if his infidelity becomes known to his wife, it will lead to family strife and potential punishment from Matriarch Farrell. Her warning reflects her awareness of the fragile peace within the family and the potential consequences of their actions. Despite her own bitterness and jealousy, she understands the need to maintain appearances and avoid further conflict. Marco realizes that regardless of their actions, the possibility of any of the Jensen brothers leading the Farrell family is slim. The family's leadership is traditionally held by women of the Farrell clan. Thus, the brothers' aspirations are inherently limited by their gender and lineage. Marco's acceptance of this reality underscores the inherent gender dynamics and traditional structures within the Farrell family. The chapter highlights the ongoing power struggles within the Farrell family. Catherine's strategic alliance with Liberty threatens Shiloh and the brothers, who see their influence waning. 
The brothers' infidelities and their need to maintain appearances add another layer of tension. The simmering conflicts are exacerbated by the underlying gender dynamics and the strict control Matriarch Farrell exerts over the family.